Oh, one down. Yeah. Oh. That's it. <laughs> 19 more to go. Yes. It is 9:40 a.m. Temperature is already pretty ridiculous. We are baking in the sun. We're in Fort Dauphin. Do hard things, they say. It's gonna be good for you. Huh? What we're doing today is pretty hard, so. <laughs> it is character building, I have to say. I love it. Okay, so. He's vomited, so that's a good sign, right? <laughs> this we're about to start running now let's go Avalina 2023 we have started the race super pumped to be back very excited this year I'm racing with my buddy Tyler I uh, rolled my ankle a bit, like right at the first kilometer. All right. Yeah, you left me. <laughs> That'll warm you up. Yeah. You good though? I think so. Okay, good. What a beautiful day so far. The sun is rising slowly. Temperature is going up slowly but surely. Headlamps are off, shades are on. We are ready to attack the day at a shuffling pace. Trying to hit that goal, but the main goal is to finish. Both of us are going to try to do this in style and with having as much fun as possible. And uh, this is Tyler's first 100 miler. He did a 50 miler about two months ago. He's jumping from 50 to 100 miles in a very short amount of time, but he's super solid, so he'll be fine. Kids for the first time in like <laughs> three whole days. Nice. Here. So you're gonna stay on the course for as long as possible. Six forty-four. I can't see the aid station. I remember being here a year ago on this exact hill at six forty-four with my buddy Stuart. So we would have the same pace as last year exactly so far. So. Pretty awesome day. Hey, love the look, man. Solid. <laughs> we just passed the guy dressed as Rip from Yellowstone. What a great look. Eight station one. Here we come. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, thank you. See you in the next one. Oh, one down. Yeah. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Nineteen more to go. Yeah. Woo. So excited! Hey. You. It's awesome out here. <laughs> Where are you from? Vancouver, BC. Oh, welcome. Are you guys? We're, we're from here. Oh, lucky Phoenix, you. Arizona. Oh my God. Yeah. Short commute. Just out for a casual 100 mile. Just here for a casual 100 mile. Way to finish your season. And today is actually going to be cool, kind of, for Arizona. Love it. Yeah. Your version of cool, and it's my version of hell. So. Yeah, so are you guys. I'm assuming you've done many of these. No, for this is number nine. Holy cow! 
All right, holy, well played. First tiny little hill of the day. I'm gonna walk it just because. Is this your first time? Second time. Second. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Where are you from? I'm from Denver. All right. Yeah. You've done this many times? I attempted it six years ago. Okay. And All right. it was my first ultra ever, and I didn't finish. <laughs> your first ultra? Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> That, you know I we do 50k's like too, right? You can just <laughs> <laughs> start with like, that. I hadn't even run a marathon. Holy cow. So I was like a 10k. Yeah, why not? It was my, my max, but yeah. back for redemption. 10k to 100 miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna get it today, so that's good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be fun. <laughs> You know what time it is? Time for the waffle. Thanks, Nack. <laughs> first time? First time. Mm. First time running in the desert. Nice. Lots of firsts today. She saw the video we did last year, so she recognized me. That's awesome. All right, we are an hour and a half into this race. So far, I'm still feeling really good calorie count is 390 calories in so far i'm about to take a bit more but i've had a big breakfast before the race just gonna keep going and uh eat some knack waffles some knack purees drink some knack calorie mix and uh, hopefully just fly through eight stations this is my plan to shave time today so <laughs> So far, we're doing great. Let's go. So unless I somehow passed him at the last aid station without seeing him, my buddy Tyler is ahead of me right now, which is excellent. It means he's doing well. So we'll see. Maybe I'll catch up to him. Maybe not. miles into this race still feeling all good here we go jackass junction so good to be back yeah yeah there we go thank you thank you that was jackass junction uh let's say two minute stop I put more night powder in one of my flasks. I got some water and some ice down my back. And now I'm on my way, good to go. Let's go five more miles to the next aid station. So what is your name? I'm Chris. Chris, my name is Bryce. Bryce. Yes, sir. I'll try to remember you next year <laughs> when we're running around this thing again, like Mad Men. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about next year. Oh, you're you gonna know? do it. <laughs> you have to. Maybe I'll come back with more friends and paste them or something. All my friends don't like to do this sort of shit, so. <laughs> like the majority of my friends are ultra runners and they make me look slow, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is hopefully the first 100K runner and not a 100 mile runner. <laughs> he was just tall, tanned, and gorgeous. It's just not fair. He had a great stride. Yeah. I mean, look at that stride, dude. Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Steph, nice to meet you. Hey, oh, Macho Man, you're back. Yeah. Hey. Oh, wow. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Great. Do you mind if I film the uh, good. the goods? Oh, yeah, oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Hope I don't end up on YouTube. Show, wink, wink. Oh, show me the back. Show me the back. Oh. There you go. Oh. Just hit the entire. Uh, jackass to rattlesnake with my buddy Chris. <laughs> Hell yeah! I flew by thanks to great company. Right? Oh. Best five miles of the race. So easy. Yeah. Hey, you want 
<laughs> Rattlesnake Ranch, first time done. Got some more neck, then more carry to the headquarters. That was a minute stop to get 250 more calories in my flask. I am three hours into this race. I've had 1,040 calories so far. I'm at about 350 calories per hour. And uh, so it's not optimum, but it's really good. This is the first 100K female runner. I'm not mistaken. She's moving incredibly well. Look at these cacti. Unbelievable. This is incredibly dry, incredibly beautiful, and I love every single step. What a stunning course. Yes, look at you. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. You are doing amazing. The pace is incredible. Of course, it is 9.40 a.m. Temperature is already pretty ridiculous. We are baking in the sun. So I'm already, I already have ice in my pack, but I'm gonna have to put more ice on me at the headquarters because we're in Fort Dauphin. Yay! Oh my God, you're doing well. How's it going, Bryce? Good, how are you? Yeah, good to see you. You're doing so well. Thank you. Oh. Go for it, Hazlitt. You're the best. Just saw my good friend Janelle Hazlitt. Janelle is doing the 100K today and she was, I believe, top five at the moment. She is one of the strongest athletes I know, so I'm pretty confident she can uh, push her way to the podium, if not better. So, go Janelle, go. I'm rooting for you. We are 1.5 kilometers from headquarters village with the crew, the ice, the water, our friends, some good energy, good vibes. I can't wait. I'm currently at 34.5, 1.5 more kilometers before. Looky, looky what I see. The village is over there. I can see it. It's over there. We are done with the big loop. Now we got four more small loops of 31K, 20 miles. Let's go. This feels pretty great, I gotta say. Let's go! Super well. Is it? Up two. Let's do this. All right, ride lap two. 
and survival mode has already started. Uh, it is extremely hot. I got spirit. So I'm gonna push through. I need to focus on getting through that lap, so I'm gonna film a little bit less. Bear with me on this one, please. Yay station, second time. I just did a marathon in five hours and 12 minutes in a desert. <laughs> yeah, it's special for sure. 42.8 kilometers and good times. You're saving my life. No key, but you are. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure you know that. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Best friend. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That was one hell of a reset. Thank you so much for being here. Yep. The amount of fluids I'm taking is intense. I'm drinking water like my life depends on it because currently I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> the thing is it's cold water so it's super refreshing. It's really nice. The stations are awesome. But this is hotter than last year. We just got lapped. It feels earlier than last year too. That's not good. I mean I'm doing the same. He's doing faster than Dakota Jones last year. Oh, you think so? Yeah. We have officially done a 50k in the desert in six hours and like 18 minutes or something. Let's push to Jackass now and we'll advise over there. See what we can do to turn this around. Jaikas, so there. Okay, I'm gonna need a serious reset of Jaikas. Not sure what I'm gonna do there. Here I go. Okay, let's reboot. your video uh, inspired me to get here. Uh, you got me here. Oh you know, I watched it and I was like, that dude's fucking cruising after 90 miles, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was a good year last year. That was great, dude. Let's try to replicate that, but it's... Uh, I'm trying to be like you. I'm, that, <laughs> that loop kicked my ass. Well, you're doing well so far. Uh, ice everywhere, please. Jackass. Done. And dusted. Okay, I got ice everywhere. I got water. I drank a ton of water. I'm gonna drink calories very soon. I've been resetting as hard as I could. Should be all right now. I need to figure out the actual ice cramping and stuff, and then I'll be good to go. It's gonna be the name of the game today. Just uh, troubleshoot every 10k and try not to die out there. Good job. There he is. <laughs> What's up, brother? Yeah, not much. Shit. You're doing all right, about 35 yeah. miles in. All right. Slow, so you, steady. You said you got here because you saw my video. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, man. Yeah. You inspired me, you know? <laughs> I was watching it last year and uh, I was like, damn, this dude is crushing. He's doing squats at mile 50. <laughs> what the hell? Dancing? Yeah, you know. So, uh, that's the only way to get through this stuff is just yeah, being man. positive. It helped me eat every 30 minutes. That's right. And then walk the hills. Yes. That's what you said. So, there we go. Here we are. Oh, man. I'm going to keep an eye on your finish. Let's do it, brother. Yeah. I can see 
the rattlesnake ranch over there. I ran the entire section between Jackass and Rattlesnake, except from right now, but I just ran the last 7K. That took some work, but we got it done. Rattlesnake Ranch, see you the next one. Okay, so I just vomited, so that's a good sign, right? <laughs> Not a lot, but <clears throat> whatever I had in my stomach is now on a cactus. So I feel great now, but I'm gonna have to figure out calories at the headquarters over there because I can't empty my stomach like this. Not okay. So here's the deal. I am moving well, but I am underfueled. I just vomited and I attempted to pee because I haven't peed in like five hours. And it was just a little, tiny little look that came out was brown. So we're gonna have to adjust a few things at the aid station if I need to go back on another loop. Because right now, not all my systems are green. So we're gonna have to either make a few adjustments and make a few calls, we'll see. But I'm moving well, so I just need to figure out a way to get more liquid calories in me and just get over that hump. Let's go. Uh, headquarters number two. We are arriving at headquarters to see the crew for a second time. Second I've done, we'll see if we can fix that situation before I go out on number three, but it's gonna be a tough one. This is where it gets tough, man. This is where it gets tough. You're, you're doing great, though. You're doing great. Are you, are you drinking? No. Yeah. I'm under fuel. Yeah. Uh, I don't drink, and my pee is dark. Yeah. I don't barely pee. Okay. And what? I'm just overheating, so... I hope Tyler was going for a ticket, like for a golden ticket. Oh, yeah. dude. Do you want some coconut water, Bryce? Yeah. I need liquid calories, like cold liquid calories. Yeah. And Okay. Yeah, probably. Two before. That's a new thing. It's really hot today. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying that that's normal. We're acknowledging it. It's real, man. I was not expecting that. This is getting real. It's hot out here. Yeah, dude. It's really, really hot. It is really, really hot. If I make it out of this tent, it's only because of you guys. So you figure this shit out, please. We got you, man. We got right you. Now, I'm staying here. No, you are. You're gonna take a good rest. We're gonna get you cooled down, and then you're getting your ass up and heading back out the next lap. Hi, mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> Fight. 
I did not want to go out. My crew just completely reset me, saved me. I was in the lowest point I've ever been in a race, and my crew just completely put me back on my feet. Love these guys so much. Thank you so much, Dee. Make sure Tyler gets out of the tent. He needs to see this, he needs to do this. Yes. At least one more lap, and then yes. we'll see you about the next one. Yes. All right, Bryce. See you. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Loop three. Oh, we're doing this. I was not in the mood for this. Yeah, it's yes, payday. Sir. <laughs> um, I got went full goggins on us. All right, so we somehow started lab three, so I'm in this now. And uh, so I'm gonna try to go back to the original plan, which is uh, walk the hills and run the flats and downs. And uh, that should work, but because if I run the hills, I'm gonna blow up. Simple as that, I tried that, and then I blew up before the headquarters, that was a mess. So now I'm just gonna dial it back a bit and make sure we get this done somehow. Let's go. This is work. Let's work. I did too. Last lap for you? Yes. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. At the last aid station, I just collapsed on the chair, explained the situation to my crew. I was overheating, underfueled, underhydrated and uh, pretty depressed. Meanwhile, I just sat down and completely broke down and as I was doing that, my crew just figured out the situation and how to fix it. And so they put ice on my chest. They gave me different things to drink, Gatorade with ice, uh, a knack puree that was out of the freezer that was nice and cold and delicious. And so calories, 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 sugar, and then water because I was also underhydrated. So. My pee was pretty dark, which is a bad sign when you're racing. So Melanie gave me like an entire flask of cold water to drink, so I downed that. And then Glenn massaged my legs with a Theragun. Very, very painful, but very effective. And then I went from wanting to quit, seriously wanting to quit. I, I'm not a quitter, but I was, I was there to uh, getting up and just uh, I think, okay, let's go out for another one. Now we take it loop by loop and we get this done because we're here. That's where I'm at now. About to be at aid session one again for the third time. Without my crew, I'd have sat down, broken down and probably turned my uh, bib in and uh, driven home. I was done, but my crew is not. So yeah, this is exactly what you need from a crew. And uh, they did that, they just completely executed exactly perfectly and got me out there. Okay, Coyote Camp for the third time. Third time. I'm going nowhere, I'm just going in circles. Is there a point to this? <laughs> Please save me. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, third time. Still fun. Yeah, how are you feeling out there? Thank you. Good. There's only one way out. It's true. Yeah, so you got it. We keep, keep pushing. Thank you. Once again, massive thank you to Nack for helping me out with this, for providing me with all the calories needed to have a successful race. Big thank you to Solomon for providing me with the gear to run all these as well. Thank you, thank you, Solomon. Obviously, thank you to my crew. What an amazing crew. We had little Arla, crew captain. Uh, we had Holly, his wife. And we also had Corey helping, helping out with Tyler. We had Pipka, we had Diane. We had Kim, we had Glenn, and obviously we had Melanie, who's always here to support me and make sure that I'm the most successful possible at what I attempt. So thank you guys, I love you all. Do hard things, they say. It's gonna be good for you. 
Uh, what we're doing today is pretty hard, so <laughs> it is character building, I have to say. I love it. The fun thing is that at this uh, at this time of the race, everybody you see around is working and giving it everything they have. And that's pretty beautiful to see, actually. Whichever the distance, whichever the pace, everybody here is all out. That's amazing. Well, we just reached 50 miles, so you know what that means. Anybody has 50 miles, welcome to join the Oh my god, you guys are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> New party! 50 miles! <laughs> the temperature dropped by about 15 degrees. There's a little draft, a little wind. Oh my god, this is good. This is what we've been waiting for since 7 a.m. It is now 5 p.m. So we have 10 hours of hell before this, but we're getting out of the hell. And now into the night where we can actually control the temperature. This is Sergio. I appreciate your content, man. You helped me out. Happy to do it. Sir Halfway here because of you. Sergio trained a week for this. <laughs> A whole entire week of training for this 100 mile surgery. A whole week, but there's one video that gave me confidence. That's how, up. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. That's how good my videos are. People only train for a week after watching them. Yeah, that's, that's right. That was the training. That's quite the endorsement. <laughs> I should sell those. This was Sergio and he saw my video from last year's Havelina on YouTube and got him pumped and he decided to to show up and race because he saw the video. And I've seen a lot of people today who came to me and like, told me, are you the guy? Are you Bryce? Are you the guy from Canada? I watched your video. It was so cool, it helped me with my training. So it's so special to hear that from people. It makes me so happy. It is a kilometer 85. I'm feeling amazing. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna ride that high for as long as I can. Jackass number three. Oh my god, we're back here. We've gone through the tough bit a third time and we got through it. And now we get to eat some treats. Okay, I'm gonna try the watermelon and stuff like that. At this point, I need to change something. I've got a nasty taste in my mouth. It tastes like metal. I'm not sure what that is. I need to fix that. But we're here, jackass, and we're on time. <laughs> Feels good to be back. Thank you. This would be impossible without any of you guys, so thank you so We're much. We're happy to be here. Yeah. It's a full moon tonight. Absolutely stunning. Oh, how lucky are we to do this stuff? I see you are very bright. I could see you from very far. <laughs> <laughs> nice shirt. Thank you. 
we are arriving at Rattlesnake Ranch once more, third time, so I'm gonna have some calories, some watermelon, some coke, maybe can as a dry, and then be on my merry way, because that worked out pretty well for this leg. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. We're back to the headquarters for the third time. I need calories. I need to sit down and figure out a calorie situation because there's no way I can finish this race if I don't have enough calories in me in the next 25 minutes. So I'm sure the crew will figure that out. In the meantime, let's finish this lap and just go sit on the chair for five minutes. You hot? You cold? Yeah. No, I'm hot. You uh, want a jacket? I'm hot. I'm thirsty. Okay. Do you want more of that Powerade? I love more of that blue stuff you have. If it, if yeah. It's nice let's get you some. Um, um, are, looks, in the cooler? looks like you uh, are sweating a lot. You, you, are you taking salt tabs? No. Cool. I'm not feeling at all. No? What's that? I'm not feeling. Okay. Bryce, you're amazing. You're looking really strong, dude. Dude, you look like you're running a one mile race there, just flying. Well, I ran the entire thing, so that's harder than I could, but. <laughs> yeah, I can go. I feel nothing. Yeah. Oh, look at his up watch. Up, yeah. Almost 100k. I'm not being at all, so. How's the white on my eyes? <laughs> That's a bold move, Bryce. I would not recommend it. The crossing the legs thing, it might... It's fine. I can, the, the issue is really not the legs. Like It's just the energy. Like I need fuel. That's fair. I just don't want your knee to lock up. Yeah, legs are great, but if I don't have the, the gas in the tank, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. I love uh, two Tylenol right okay. off the bat. Yes. You got it? And then I need a Paragon on my right All right. Um, At four, Tyler caught up to me at the aid station. He got his uh, situation back in order. I got the whole. Well, He's crushing it now, so super stoked about that. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, first aid station number four. Try not to die. We're just having a soup. We're having a sleeping bag. So we're in it. Yeah, it went well until this. Happened. We're just gonna walk it out. <laughs> so we tried. We took some soup. Not I'm feeling. Back to the cacti. Yeah, doesn't really follow the greatest. It's 10 p.m. right now, and 
I think for now, this is where we are. 